Thank you very much, on our panel. Alan? Achtbare speaker, graag wil ik die visse mannen en vrouwen welkom hier, hier in die parlement. Hulle is die sout van die aarde. Hulle ken visvang en het groot geworden visvangfamilies. Hulle is die mense wat u minister, saam met die departement en sy beleide tot armoede gevonden zit. Terwijl u nog lekker leer en slaap in die wilde en vier uur die ochtend, gaan hulle sê toe om kos op die tafel te sit vir hulle familie. Hulle ken niks anders te nie. Hulle is die mense wat u gevaal het. Hier die vissermanne behoort aan een hechte familie, wat saam blij is as die vis bijt en saam huil as een van hulle nie teruggeef van die see af nie. Ons staan ook saam en wat klei as iemand hulle onrechtvaardig behandel. Hulle is nie die lelie wit industrie waarvan u praat nie, minister. That is why, honorable minister, I have invited them, the fishing community, to join me today. So that you can hear the plight of our fisher family. A family to which you and the honorable members of this committee also belong. As the minister, you assume a father figure role. The father is the head of the family and can be strict but firm with the discipline. The role of the mother is assumed by the officials of the department, including the director general and the deputy director general. Um, the mother is meant to nurture and show equal love and sympathy to all the children. A mother listens and is the cornerstone of any family. We also have a grandmother whose role is assumed by the portfolio committee and the chairperson. The grandmother performs an oversight role. She's a safe haven for them all. She does not pick sides. She does what is good for the whole family. That is a normal family. Unfortunately, ours is a dysfunctional family. In our family, the father fails to provide equal protection to all members of the fishing community. By taking away rights to fish, the minister has, with a stroke of his pen, sentenced 800 fishermen and women in the sector to a life of poverty where their children will go to bed hungry. 90% of these 800 unsuccessful fishermen are not white, minister, but previously disadvantaged. You are just spreading the poverty thinner. The mother is not any better. She too has failed our family. The DDG has shown disregard to the plight and the cries of the communities who feel prejudiced by the fishing allocation process. The DDG, by reducing the fishing quotas by 90%, has condemned these communities to a life of hunger and poverty. Instead of ensuring that these communities are fed, the minister's department has instead chosen to feed the patronage system. Both the mother and the father of this family have acted against the very people who depend on them. But what about us as the committee? What have we as the grandmother done to comfort and solve the problems of these fishing communities? We have done nothing. We turned them away. Fish depletion or scarcity of fish resources are no longer the biggest threat to fishing industry. The Department of Fisheries is the most dangerous threat to the fishing industry. They don't seem to know that they are playing Russian roulette with the lives of our people. Achbar speaker, hier is a baie emotionele onderwerp en graag wil ons by u hoor, achbare minister, hoe u hierdie probleem gaan aanspreek. U kan nie net bloot die skouwers optrek nie. Verduidelik asjeblief vir hierdie visse manne, hierdie familie hier ten woordig wat u gaan doen om hierdie humanitaire ramp af te weer. Om net van een te steel en vir die ander te gee, is nie die oplossing nie, minister. U moet een rechtvaardige vader wees. Dit is toch die plig, minister. Dit is verder een schrijende skande dat die eie kinders hulle ouwers moet hof toeneem om gerechtigheid te laat geskiet. Maar kom, ek beloof vandag vir die een ding, minister. Ons sal hier in die parlement en in die hofbak klei dat die bloed so loop, maar u sal ons nie onderkry nie. Baie dankie. Dankie wel, my vriend.